Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can activate the OPC UA server of the Modicon M262. So let's go to the sample. So, in this project that I have done before, I have the M262. So, the first thing that we need to do is to check the configuration of the Ethernet port. So we are able to communicate on this device. In my case, I'm going to use the Ethernet port 2. So these are my settings on the um, M262. So as soon as you configure the settings of the um, Ethernet port, what we need to do is to define a specific, um, which are the variables that we want to share over the OPC. So what we can do is to create a new GBL object um, GBL OPC UA you can add different ones but I'm going to create just one specific so I'm going to use for example temperature uh, humidity and I'm going to add X alarm so these two are going to be real variables this one real you can see over here, I'm not going to specify any address because it's not needed for this. So, as soon as you define the variables that you're going to share with the OPC UA client, uh, what we need to do is to um, use then at least one of them on the on one of the PUs. So, what I'm going to do is a small logic. If the uh, GBL underscore OPC UA dot Temperature is um, higher than 22.3. Then the GBL underscore OPC UA dot X alarm is going to be in true. Okay. Else, else this variable over here is going to be in false. Okay just to add something that you can see that is working so we have created our logic for this now we need to specify that the gbl that we want from our server to be visible on the client we need to add something so this part is already complete now if we take a look here doo -doo -doo, on the let me just double check Here in the application in the tools tree, okay. If you're not able to see this tool tree, you just need to go to navigators and then here tools tree. Here we just need to add a symbol configuration. Okay, this part is a little bit different compared to the modicon M241 and M251 that we need to add a specific OPC UI symbol configuration, but this one is the same. We just need to use the symbol configuration. As soon as we press on symbol configuration, here we have the possibility to enable the OPC features. So we just need to click on support and then add. As soon as we add this symbol configuration with the OPC UA functionalities, okay, we should be able to see the GBLs or PUs that we have in our application. So as you can see here, the OPC UA GBL that I created. I'm going to select all of these variables. And here you have the access right. So here you can define if the variable is going to be read, write, or read write. Okay. You can see over here it's not working. This one is going outside, so it's only reading, writing, and this one read write. Okay. And let me see here. If you forget to do that. If you select settings, you can support OPC UA features. So you have here the possibility to enable it. So, so far we have defined the Ethernet port. We have created some variables and we have defined which are the variables that we want to share with uh, our OPC client. So what we need to do is to configure the M262 to be OPC UI server. So for that, we just need to go to the device tree again. 
select on my controller okay so over here what we need to do at first we're going to see these applications but there is a specific tab called opc ua server configuration on this one we have the, possi the possibility to enable the opc ua server okay and here we have the possibility to add more um, security in our communication but in this first part what i'm going to do is to not use any security okay and i'm not going to disable the anonymous okay so i should be able to log in directly into the controller so uh, the only important thing is this part of the sessions but this will depend on your application but the important thing is this the server port that is the one that we need to enable in order on the opc ua client can have access to this m262 uh, opc ua server so we're going to define this now this part there is no security at all so it's going to be very straightforward what i'm going to do now is to connect with the controller download this configuration uh, do, 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 do. just bear with me there we go so i'm going to connect with this one login let's wait for it to finish to get this over there yep okay so what's that okay good um plc in run so now that we have this connection okay everything is done uh, vertical over there yeah so now in order to test this okay the easiest way is to use a third-party software called uh, ua expert which is this software okay this ua expert can simulate or can create like um, um opc ua client on your laptop so you can communicate with the opc ua server that in our case is the modicon m262 so in order to do that we just need to install the software first and then here in this plus you have the add server then over here we just need to add our server and we double click we use this starting address opc.tcp and here we just need to use the IP address of our equipment 192.168.1262 which is the one I have and then we just need to use the port of the OPC in our case it was 4840 as you can see over over here 4840 so just back to this view and select here okay good so we just need to add it as soon as we add it we should be able to see this and inside should be our server as you can see the anonymous is enabled so we can should be able to communicate using the anonymous okay as soon as the server is added we just can connect to it and in here you should be able to see all the options uh, okay options application and here you can see the name of the gbl or pc ua with the variables as soon as we have this we should be able to drag and drop into the middle part of our screen to see the real-time variables so here what i can do is to easily change the variables this one is the humidity so here i'm going to specify 65 but you can see how it changed the 65 over there so and now i'm going to use the temperature you can see on the gbl here how it's going to change and also here in the code so in this case i'm going to use uh 12. So you can see here 12 12 and it doesn't execute this part because it's not higher than the value that i wanted so i'm going to specify 30. 
you can see I can see the new change on the variable okay so this is very straightforward without any security at all so what we're going to do later is to use security with credentials and see how we can limit the access to the OPC UI server using our OPC UI client. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.